Hallo und Jonas, herzlich willkommen und zurück im Heimspieltagsinterview vor dem Heimspiel gegen den VfB Stuttgart. Bei uns heute zu Gast Jordan Siwachu. Oh, no, sorry. Theo Shaw, Jordan Siwachu, Pivok. <lacht> Johnny, herzlich willkommen. Äh, danke. Wir haben beschlossen, wir machen das ganze Interview auf Deutsch. Kein Problem. Nein, Spaß beiseite, wir machen es auf Englisch. I will start with four short questions mm -hmm. and you have to answer immediately just what you think, what your first thought is, okay? Okay. Your favorite dish? Um, Eru and water fufu. What? Eru water fufu. What is it? Uh, I don't know. It's from Cameroon. And what is it with meat or without? Or uh, what is the. More like vegetables and. Ah, the other one difficult to explain. But can you cook it for us? Uh, it will be difficult, but I can ask my mom <laughs> if she wants. Okay, perfect. Um, which kind of sport you would you like to be able to? Like basketball? Uh, sleeping. Sleep? Yes. <laughs> but you are able to? Yes. Not at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I I like uh, the cross. Uh -uh. <laughs> Now I'm gonna say volleyball. Yeah. Yeah. Good. In the morning, immediately up or snooze. Huh? You go up immediately. Or you snooze or uh, always mm. your your ring? Not immediately. Immediately. Otherwise, I'm gonna be late <laughs> because I like to sleep. So I'm gonna be late for training. <laughs> <laughs> And then you have to pay. I paid the last week. Really? Uh. What was the reason why you come late? Yeah. Your first concert. Never been. Never been on concert. a concert? No, only like showcase, but concert never been. Why? You don't like it? I like it, but like it's too long for me. It's too, too yeah. late because you're always tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I, I prefer like showcase, but concert, I don't know why. Like the last time was Chris Brown, and yes, I prefer like to stay at home. I like uh, it's possible to me to listen the same music on YouTube. So, but it's the the atmosphere at the concert and everybody's dancing. Yes, no problem. But like I prefer like to I don't know to meet Will Smith than Chris Brown. Prefer movies than music. Ah, okay. And which was the first movie you look? You remember? Of Will Smith? No. First movie. Anime, yes, maybe Dragon Ball. Okay. Okay. Champagne or beer? Champagne, for sure. Really? Yeah. I'm not sure, but I read you didn't like it. No, but I'm from Reims. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the five questions. No, okay. oh, I said four questions, but it was five. In Chile, always so. Yeah. Oh. No, it's not a <laughs> problem for me. I used to know. <laughs> okay. Um. Jordi, let's talk about you. Um, you was you were born in Washington. Mm -hmm. How long did you live there? Oh, it was first one year. Only one year. Mm -hmm. Okay, you didn't remember. Okay, and then you go to French, to the capital city of Champagne, of course. Um, how was it in to live there? How was your childhood? It was good. That's good. Uh, I grew up like in yes in France, France. Uh, I did everything there. Like I start to play football there. I start to have my first friend also there. Uh, first exam there. Everything was in France, so no, well, was perfect for me. You always said you start uh, playing football there at the age of seven, I think. Six. Six. Yeah, please. Oh, okay, 
sorry, uh, at the age of six, and you play there so almost. There was two little breaks where you go somewhere else, mm -hmm. but almost you play at a uh, sad res. 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 Why you? There is an M and not an N. Uh, it's Reims, I don't know why. Okay, I was not sure. Okay, um, let's talk about a little bit about your time at Stade Reims. Stade de Reims. Stade de Reims. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about it. How was the the first uh, the first years at the, such a big club and it's a traditional club, right? Yes. How was it for you to play there where you live, also? For me, it was was amazing because I started in professional league in my city. So it was like something special also like for my family and for me because like every game I had like my friend in the stadium, my family in the stadium. And yes, was also good for, I think for the young players, like they come after me. And now I just want to say like, thank you like for my club for my city because I could play there, play also well. And uh, I I had also the opportunity to to move, to grow up also. So now everything for me was perfect and was amazing to play like standards. Is there a special mm -hmm. moment you remember at the time there? Maybe the first day when you come there as a little child? Um, I'm gonna say the game against PSG because I think it was my first game when I signed my first contract and my family was there, my grandmother also, and I scored. So we didn't win, but it was a very good game. And how nervous was you before the game? How nervous are you before the game? Uh, I'm not nervous like before the game. No. Never or never. Never. Yes, I don't know why. I'm very relaxed. Well, I don't know. I watch anime, baby. That put me my head down. Yes. So never. The I think the first time when I was never it's when I had to pass my exam. Because I had my mom behind me and <laughs> <laughs> she waits for that. So, but before the game, never. So this uh, the only um, time in your life when you were nervous, or is there a special moment maybe out of the football where you're nervous? Wow, well, um, I think the only time when I. I am like very, really nervous is when I, I'm with my family, but the rest, no. It's cool. Yes, very cool boy. Yes. <laughs> it seems like, um, in 2080, you go to for two years to Stade de Rennes. Rennes, yes. Now it's Stade de Rennes. Re <laughs> okay. Stade de Rennes. You, you uh, see, my my French is very good. But it's not your French; it's just. It's complicated, like. Yeah, I uh, when I was in school, I had. I'm not sure, but seven years. French. Seven. Yeah, really seven, and the I can three sentence. It's, je ne sais pas, je n'ai pas compris. Ah. Et j'ai oublié moi de voir. J'ai oublié mon devoir. Yeah, that's the only. Yeah. <laughs> so only three sentences I need in school. So, um, yeah, you go there, and how how difficult was to say goodbye after fifteen years at uh, Stade Reims? Stade de Reims. <laughs> <laughs> no, like for me, it was not that that difficult because I wanted to move, I wanted to change to see another thing, and I think it was more difficult. For like my mom, my family. For me, it was just exciting to move to see another thing. But is the distance so so big to both? Um, no, by train I think three hours. Okay, was good. 
but you know I'm very close like with my mom so for like her was very difficult but for me no I was just excited to move to grow up and to see uh, like a higher level that's the reason you you said it you're very close to your mom that's the reason why you want to play with p fork on your jersey right yes for my mom and also like for my uncle because I was close also to him but he passed away well Yes, my mom and me, it's like something special. Like for me, it's not like my mom, it's also like my friend, best friend. And like just now, like I have to, to call her because I don't know, maybe she had a problem. I know. No, she has al always a problem. <laughs> she just wanted to talk with me. And like, yes, like yesterday I was just sleeping and she wrote me like, I don't want to talk with you anymore because he didn't text me like this afternoon. <laughs> As I was just in my bed, I said, yeah, no, you take another person maybe in your life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, like I said, like we are very, very close. And uh, yes, it's like my partner. Have she ever been here in the stadium or in Berlin to uh, meet you? No, not yet. Not yet like my brother, yes. But my sister, no, no not yet. Okay, but you're planning to to come here uh, are they planning to come here for for a game or to meet you in a free time and yes yes for sure but you know when i have like they have to go like in france yes uh, uh, i go so like for her uh, she doesn't know football <laughs> like i think for me like she doesn't care like to come in the stadium like it's the same to you see me on tv or like here But no, uh, she planned with just for the time. Um, let's go back to your career. Um, you played at Stade Rennes. Rennes? Rennes? Stade Rennes. Rennes. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and you won the first title in your career, right? It was the, the French Cup. Yes. But in the last three games of the French Cup, you were injured. Mm -hmm. But you scored twice in the round of 16. Yes. How was it the first title in your career? Is it something special for you because it's the first one? Or, yeah, there come a lot more, so it's not like that special. No, it was something special for sure. It was the, the first one. And I was also happy, like you said, I scored like twice against Lille. I was on the bench and I came in and I scored. And I had like also like very good friends, like also like in her end. So now I was very happy to to have this title and I hope I'm gonna have another one. And you win the title against uh, PSG, mm -hmm. I see. It's, yeah. Was it the, the same special thing as now? Because PSG is now one of the best Mm -hmm. um, teams in the world, but was it the same? I don't know. It's four, five years ago. Was it the same special to win against him? I think at this moment it was like very special because PSG was very. They have like a really good team, and, and but when um, I went to the stadium, like they are uh, just the the fan of Rennes. And I think we lost, yes, we lost like 2-0, like the first half, and we came like at 2-2 and we won on like the penalty. And no, I was in the stadium. I was so happy like for my teammates, so happy like for, for the city. And after that, yes, we went out, celebrate the title. And, but for me, it was good. But I wanted to play. Of course, of course, you want to play. Yes, I wanted to play also. So, but I was happy like for my friend, my teammate. After that, in the next years, you win the Concacaf Nations League with the USA. Mm -hmm. Then the championship in the Switzerland. Switzerland, yes. With young boys, and you are the best scorer. In the Switzerland League, as the first 
American player, you know this? No. Yeah, you were the first uh, American player who won the best scorer in a European league. Wow, oh, did I know that? Really? Yes. Hey, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? It is amazing. Yes, yeah, true, but like I say, like, like everything about like football, like for me, it's just won't, it's I'm not gonna say like it's normal, but I prefer like to win like something like with my family. Like, I don't know, like, I, I love to play football. Yeah, I love to, to be there, like, with my teammates. But, like, like I said, like, well, I, like, I prefer, like, the moment with, like, my family. So I, I was happy because, like, my, especially my brother, they are very happy, like, when I had the title for the best scorer, when I won also, like, the league. Uh, we won also like with USA. They are like very happy, but for me, like it's normal. So you celebrate your your exam more than a title? Yes. Really? Yes, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Because maybe you didn't be there at this moment, but I sweat a lot at this moment. Because I know if I fail. But yes, now I just enjoy the life. Just to say, like, thanks God for everything and just enjoy the life in the moment. Okay, so let's talk about what is your, what is a typical day when you have free time? <laughs> okay, I can answer for you. Okay. You sleep uh -huh. and then you watch. Uh, Oh, I forgot the name of the of the uh, of the series. Shit! What was the, your favorite uh, your favorite? Uh, Which one? Nah, the the anime. But what was the first uh, your favorite one? Dragon Ball. No, that's not the favorite one, huh? That's my favorite one. Really? Yes. I thought something Ball. else. No, but now I watch like Blue Lock, but it was the last episode on Saturday. I'm sad. And now I have to start again bleach. So normal day for me, like I woke up, breakfast. I, I call my mom because I have to. Yes. And yes, I'm just stay at home, uh, like watch anime. Uh, I pray also, like okay. yes, read my Bible. And I'll just talk with my friend. If I need to, I go outside, but I prefer to stay at home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but Berlin is such a big city and there's so much to do. And do you like to mm -hmm. be at home? Like, I don't know Berlin. You don't know about Berlin? No. Nothing. Nothing, no, nothing like my brother, they know more than me, <laughs> for sure. Yes. So I there's no favorite uh, place in Berlin? Your home, of course. I have, I have one yeah, place, yeah. yes. My barber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will come to it later because of your hairstyle. Uh, I will ask you something about it. But how was how was it to come to Berlin? It's such a big city and I thought it's bigger than Reims. Yes, for sure, yes. Berlin is very big. I was surprised because like some friend told me like, like Berlin is very big and it's very very big because like every day i have to drive 40 minutes to come to the training center you can also live uh, in, in when you're always at your home you can live uh, across the street yes but you know i just want to feel comfortable <laughs> like at home uh, i want to have like everything around me okay you know i want also to have like my barber close okay. to my house so what's better? And what are you missing most in Berlin? What do you have in Reims? Reims? Uh, um, bakery. Bakery? Yes. Croissant, okay. chocolat, bonne baguette. It's, it's not so good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Of course. Same. Of course, it's not the same. Um, I know, and we talk about it already. You learn German mm -hmm. together with uh, Diogo and Morten. 
and you're good in it, we can also do it in German. Okay. I know it, you understand yeah. very much. But what is the topic at the moment at the German lesson? Uh, at the moment, like we learn der die das uh, stuff for how can I say that like yes everything with der die das because I think it's the most difficult things to learn in German <laughs> yeah, of course. because sometimes I try to translate like in French but it's not the same and yes that's it for me like very difficult but I have to. But the coach, um, the meetings are always in German, right? Mm -hmm. And you understand everything or is it hard? Because he speaks uh, Switzerdeutsch, yes. so it's more difficult than German, right? isn't it? Yes, but I was like in Switzerland. Yeah, of course. So. But there was it also in German? All the, the meetings, meetings, yes. Yeah. Also oh, okay. like in German. Okay. So like for me, like I understand, not going to say like everything. But I think like 70, 80 percent. And but for me, it's good because I don't like to have like so many information like in my head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but now with the coach, like it's easy because he like he speaks also French. So when I have like a difficulty for <clears throat> one thing, I don't understand something like easier to ask him what he said. And now you have two uh, colleagues on your team who are also speaking very well French. Mm -hmm. So it's comfortable, comfortable for, for you, isn't it? Uh, yes, for me it's good. For me it's good, but it's also bad. Because now I, I think I speak more French than German. Yeah, okay. Yes. So up to now I always will talk to you in German, okay? Kein problem. <laughs> Um, yeah, about your hairstyle, you always change it. What was the best one and which one was the baddest one? First day is not baddest. And the best one... There's no baddest? Yes. Never, never. Mm. There's... I remember when I go to the, to the hairstyler and then I come out and I think, okay, This may be for you, not for me. Okay. <laughs> not the best one? Oh, maybe the last one. You know, the bread like that. I was so... But why are you putting it out? Now it's new. Because I wanted to change. So is it like changing clothes for you to change your hairstyle? Uh, yes. Because I... I think I go every week. <laughs> yes, my mom has the same head. <laughs> uh, and yes, I go every week. So for me, it's not like important, but I like to be fresh every day. And maybe in, in other color, like red? I did. Really? Yes. Well, red? Not like all. I did like a line here, Okay. red. I put also yellow, okay, white, uh, gray. And when we when we uh, qualify for the Champions League, we can put you red stars in you. Uh, one. One. Yes. Why not? Perfect. Um, Jody, we talk about your best moments in your football career, but what are the the most beautiful moments in your private life? <clears throat> Maybe a holiday together with your mom? Yes, when I go to Cameroon with my family. Oh. Yes, the best. Because the life is so simple. People are really nice. Like, they don't care about like their problems, everything. They just want to love happiness. Do you have a family in Cameroon? Yes. Oh, still, okay. yeah. And how often you can visit them? Uh, I try to go like every year or two years. Okay. 
is there something you want to do in your life ever and you didn't do it because you're not I don't know you had not the best moment for it or you're you're a bit a little bit nervous uh, to do it like uh, to jump out of a airplane or oh, never <laughs> never I have some friend like they bought me one day that and I say no you have to take back your money bro never but something else maybe you want to do in your life but you didn't do it at the moment Ooh. maybe to create an own anime why not yes why not but I no, I don't I want to learn to ski. Really? Yes, but I don't want to also at the same time. But you didn't like it when it's cold outside yes. and you want to learn ski. Because I find yes. <laughs> because when I watch that it looks good. But it's also so dangerous and difficult. Yeah, yeah maybe you have to do it after your football career. Better. See Manu and Noya mm -hmm. would be better. And I think it's better for us if you wait, <laughs> if you wait, okay? No problem. But after that, you can ask uh, Hoffi. Oh, I think, good? Yeah, of course, he's Austrian guy. Really? I think they are, they are come to, come to the world and then they put in, in ski and then they <laughs> push them out of the, <laughs> out of the hill. Uh, I will ask him. Yes. But yes. we, we want, uh, we want to come with you. Okay, with the camera when you and Hoppy go uh, for skiing, Why and not? after that, and after that we go to Apreshi. Then I will come with you. No problem. Okay, perfect. Uh, Jolly, let's come to an end. I like it to talk to you. You know it, but uh, <laughs> I think we have to. Yeah, you had a second uh, training session, so we have to come to an end. There's one last question. The last question is always: Is there something you want to share the uh, Oniona? I didn't ask you. <laughs> something to tell oh I have nothing to say just maybe it's really hot here yes <laughs> <laughs> no I have nothing to say just like to no I like what they are just they are amazing no stay the same and you want to sing the uh, hymn now? On the pitch, right? With them? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love that song. Yeah, I know. Uh, a really good song. There's a, a few games uh, before you, you sing it on the bench and the, the camera <laughs> see you. That's why now I try to put something for my mouth. <laughs> okay, Jody, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Good luck for the game. Thanks. On Saturday. Hopefully with the sun like this the sun like looks like the the light from the fridge the same but yes <laughs> <laughs> i see the same light when you open the fridge like anything was clear but it's so cold inside the same <laughs> <laughs> okay that's the perfect uh, end for our interview Thanks a lot. Uh, bitte schön. Danke schön. Uh, es war sehr gut. Danke formal. Uh, schönen Nachmittag. Schön.